Hey there, you're looking kind of cute. Please consider subscribing and check out our Patreon for more. Enjoy the video. The alarm clock blared, jolting Troy awake from a deep slumber. He groaned and rolled over, fumbling to silence the piercing beeps. 6 a.m., time to face another Monday. But this wasn't just any Monday. Today was Makeover Monday, the highlight of Troy's week. He swung his legs over the side of the bed and padded to the bathroom, splashing cold water on his face. In the mirror, his reflection stared back. Strong jawline dusted with morning stubble, sleep-tousled brown hair, tired blue eyes. Troy smiled to himself, knowing that visage would soon be transformed. Good morning, sleepyhead, a lilting voice called from the bedroom. Ready for your weekly dose of fabulousness? Troy turned to see his wife, Selena, leaning against the doorframe, already dressed and made up to perfection as usual. Her red-painted lips curved into a smirk. I've got a new palette I'm dying to try out on you. Hurry up and hop in the shower so we can get started. Yes, ma'am, Troy replied with a grin, giving her a mock salute. He stripped off his t-shirt and boxers and stepped under the hot spray, sighing as the water soothed his muscles. Selena bustled around the bedroom as Troy washed up, laying out the supplies she'd need. Foundation, concealer, eyeshadows in a rainbow of hues, mascara, false lashes, lipsticks, and glosses. An array of brushes and sponges, setting sprays and primers. On the bed, she carefully arranged an outfit. A floral skater dress with a sweetheart neckline, paired with sheer stockings and patent leather Mary Janes. Lacy underwear in pastel pink, long auburn wig styled in tousled curls. Satisfied, Selena nodded to herself. Troy was going to look amazing. All right, I'm all yours, Troy announced, emerging from the bathroom with a towel slung low on his hips. Selena let her gaze trail appreciatively over her husband's toned physique before gesturing for him to take a seat at the vanity. Let's get to work, shall we? We've got a lot of ground to cover if we're going to unleash your inner goddess by lunchtime, she said, snapping on a headband to keep Troy's damp hair off his face. He closed his eyes, surrendering himself to Selena's skilled hands as she began applying primer with a soft brush. The cool liquid glided over his skin, evening out his complexion. Next came foundation, dabbed on with a damp sponge and blended seamlessly down his neck. Hmm, I'm thinking a subtle, smoky eye today, Selena mused, surveying her eyeshadow options. Plum and bronze to make those baby blues pop. Sound good? Whatever you think, babe, Troy murmured, already slipping into a relaxed trance as Selena worked her magic. You're the expert. Selena selected a fluffy brush and began applying color to Troy's lids, a wash of shimmery champagne, then a deeper plum blended into the crease and outer corners. She smudged bronze along his lower lash line and highlighted the inner corners with a pale pink. With a fine angled brush, she drew a precise wing of black liquid liner that flicked up at the ends. Open, Selena instructed, wielding the mascara wand. Troy blinked as she coated his lashes, fanning them out lushly. She finished by gluing on a pair of wispy false lashes for extra drama. Okay, time for those killer cheekbones, Selena said, swirling a brush in a peachy pink blush. She dusted it along Troy's cheeks and blended back towards his temples. A sweep of champagne highlighter on the tops of his cheekbones added a subtle glow. For his lips, Selena chose a creamy mauve lipstick and applied it with a brush for precision. She traced just outside his natural lip line to give the illusion of a fuller pout, a swipe of matching gloss added a pretty sheen. All right, I think we're ready for the wig, Selena said excitedly, lifting the long auburn locks off the styrofoam head. She adjusted it carefully over Troy's hair, securing it with pins, then used her fingers to arrange the curls attractively. Troy opened his eyes and turned to face the mirror. His breath caught as he took in his reflection. Smoky bedroom eyes, mile-long lashes, sculpted cheeks, glossy pout. He looked like a total bombshell. It never ceased to amaze him how thoroughly Selena could transform him. Wow, he breathed, touching his face gently. I look gorgeous, as always, Selena finished, 
pride shining in her eyes. Now let's get you dressed and accessorized. I'm thinking that floral sundress with the little white cardigan. Troy stood and let the towel drop as Selena handed him the lacy panties and bra. He stepped into them and adjusted the straps, already feeling more feminine. The stockings were next, silky against his freshly shaved legs. He unzipped the dress and slipped it over his head, wriggling until it settled properly on his hips. Selena zipped him up and smoothed the skirt. Almost done, she said, holding up the white cardigan. Troy slid his arms into it and she buttoned it halfway. Dainty jewelry came next, a silver charm bracelet, sparkly stud earrings, a heart-shaped pendant necklace. Finally, Troy stepped into the Mary Janes and took a few experimental steps around the bedroom. The heels made his calves look amazing. He did a little twirl, feeling the skirt flare out around his thighs. Selena wolf whistled. Wow, I'd date you, she teased. Troy laughed and struck a playful pose, one hand on his hip. You already put a ring on it, baby. He sobered then, taking Selena's hands in his. Thank you for this, he said sincerely, gesturing to his dolled up reflection, for accepting this side of me, for helping me express it. I know it's not exactly conventional for a husband to want to dress up like a woman, but you've never made me feel weird or ashamed about it. Selena reached up to caress his face tenderly, careful not to smudge his makeup. Hey, you never have to thank me for loving every part of you, she said softly. Dressing up like this makes you happy, and that's all that matters to me. I'm just glad I get to be a part of it. Troy turned his face to press a kiss to her palm. I love you so much, you know that. I know, Selena said with a smile. Now, what do you say we go show off the new you? I'm thinking lunch at that cute bistro downtown, maybe a little shopping after. We could get you some new lingerie, maybe a pair of fuck me heels. Troy felt a thrill of excitement zip through him at the thought of going out in public all dolled up, no longer having to hide this part of himself. With Selena by his side, he felt brave enough to face anything. Let's do it, he agreed, grabbing his purse. Watch out, world. Here comes Tracy. Selena laughed and took his arm as they headed for the front door. Tracy, huh? I like it. It suits you. As they stepped out into the sunshine together, Troy couldn't keep the smile off his face. He knew that no matter what he wore or what he looked like, Selena would always love him for exactly who he was. Makeover Mondays were just icing on the cake. Hand in hand, they strolled down the sidewalk, ready to take on the world as husband and wife. Only now, the husband was rocking a killer pair of heels and a swing in his hips. And he'd never felt more comfortable in his own skin. Tracy and Selena spent a perfect afternoon together, turning heads everywhere they went. They sipped mimosas on the bistro patio, Tracy feeling utterly elegant as he crossed his stockinged legs. They browsed the racks at their favorite boutiques, Selena encouraging Tracy to try on anything that caught his eye. Tracy admired a slinky red dress on a mannequin, fingering the delicate lace trim. Ooh, this would be perfect for our anniversary dinner next week, he said, glancing at Selena with a hopeful smile. Selena arched an eyebrow. Anniversary? But we got married in June. It's only March. I meant the anniversary of my first time dressing up, Tracy clarified, a touch of shyness creeping into his voice. It'll be one year next week since we had our first makeover Monday. Understanding dawned on Selena's face, quickly replaced by a tender expression. Oh, baby, of course we should celebrate that. I can't believe it's been a whole year already. She plucked the red dress off the rack and held it up to Tracy's frame, locking her head as she assessed the fit. You're gonna look so nice in this, she purred, her voice dropping to a husky register. I vote yes, and I think I saw some killer stilettos back there that would match perfectly. Tracy shivered at the heat in her gaze, his own body stirring in response. It amazed him how much Selena seemed to desire him when he was all dolled up like this. There was something about the combination of his masculine physique with the feminine trappings that really revved her engine. Well, if you insist, he said coyly, 
taking the dress from her and draping it over his arm. They moved on to the shoe section, where Tracy immediately gravitated towards a pair of sky-high red patent pumps with wicked-looking spike heels. He held one up and whistled. Wow, these are nice. Try them on? Selena encouraged, already waving over a salesgirl to request Tracy's size. Tracy perched on the edge of a leather ottoman and slipped off his Mary Janes. The salesgirl returned with the requested shoes and knelt to help guide Tracy's feet into them. He stood carefully, wobbling for a moment before finding his balance. The heels had to be at least five inches, putting him head and shoulders above Selena. He took a few experimental steps, pleased when he managed not to topple over. There was something about the way the heels thrust his hips forward and accentuated the swell of his body that made him feel unbelievably girly. Selena seemed to agree if the way her eyes raked over him was any indication. Those are the ones, she said decisively. They make your legs look a million miles long. We're getting them, Tracy grinned, loving Selena's enthusiasm. Together, they browsed the racks of dresses, skirts, and blouses, holding up options and debating which would look best. Ooh, what about this one? Selena asked, pulling out a sleeveless floral sundress with a fitted bodice and a flirty, flared skirt. It's so cute and springy. Tracy took the hanger from her, admiring the bright splashes of pink and yellow against the white background. I love it, he declared. Let's try it. In the fitting room, Tracy shimmied out of the dress he was wearing and stepped into the sundress, sliding it up over his hips. Selena zipped him up and he turned to face the mirror, smoothing his hands over the structured bodice. The sweetheart neckline showcased his collarbones and the little cap sleeves made his shoulders look delicate. The skirt fell to just above his knees, swishing attractively when he moved. Oh, that's darling, Selena cooed. We're definitely getting that one. Here, try it with this little cropped cardi. She held up a lacy white cardigan and helped Tracy shrug into it. He buttoned it halfway and turned sideways, admiring the way it nipped in at his waist. I feel so pretty, he said happily, running his palms down his sides. Like a perfect little 50s housewife. Well, this 50s housewife needs some accessories, Selena said, rummaging through her purse. Here, try these. She produced a pair of vintage-inspired cat-eye sunglasses with white frames and handed them to Tracy. He slid them on and pursed his lips in an exaggerated pout, posing with one hand on his hip. How do I look? He asked, peering at Selena over the tops of the frames. Tray chic? Oui, tray chic indeed, she replied with a laugh. All you need is a little wicker basket to carry and you'll be the belle of the garden party? Tracy giggled and took off the sunglasses, setting them aside. Okay, what else have we got? I want to try on everything. They spent the next hour playing dress up, Tracy modeling outfit after outfit while Selena acted as fashion critic and stylist. He tried on pencil skirts and silky blouses, cardigans and capris, fit and flare dresses and rompers. With each new ensemble, he felt his confidence growing. Selena made him feel so beautiful, so feminine, so utterly desirable. Oh, Trace, this one is my favorite so far, Selena breathed as Tracy emerged from the fitting room once more. He was wearing a halter-style sundress in a pretty coral hue, the fluttery skirt falling to mid-thigh. A pair of wedge sandals in natural raffia added a few inches to his height and made his calves look fantastic. Tracy did a little spin, feeling the skirt float up around his hips. You like it? He asked, glancing at Selena coyly over his bare shoulder. I love it, she confirmed, her voice gone a bit breathy. You look like a total beach babe. If we weren't in public right now, later, he promised in a whisper, loving the way Selena shivered at the single word. For now, I think I'm ready to check out. We've got more than enough to keep us busy for a while. Selena nodded in agreement, helping Tracy gather up their selections. They headed for the registers, arms laden with colorful garments. The cashier complimented Tracy's outfit as she rang them up, making him beam with pride. Your girlfriend has great taste, 
she said, nodding to Selena. Tracy opened his mouth to correct her assumption, but Selena beat him to it. Oh, I'm not his girlfriend, she said casually. I'm his wife. The cashier's eyes widened briefly before her customer service smile returned. Oh, my apologies. Well, you're a lucky woman. He makes a very pretty girl. Selena smiled, reaching out to take Tracy's hand. Don't I know it, she said warmly. My pretty girl. Tracy ducked his head shyly, pleasure blooming in his chest at the simple endearment. He loved being Selena's girl, loved the easy, casual way she claimed him. Purchases in hand, they left the store and stepped out into the late afternoon sunlight. Tracy immediately put on his new sunglasses against the bright glare. Selena took his other hand, lacing their fingers together. I don't know about you, but I'm beat, she said, leaning into his side as they walked. I could use a coffee before we head home. Sounds perfect, Tracy agreed. Lead the way. They strolled hand in hand down the sidewalk, Tracy's shopping bag swinging merrily from his wrist. He couldn't remember the last time he'd felt this light, this uninhibited. Being out in the world as Tracy, with Selena by his side, was a heady kind of freedom. At the coffee shop, Selena found them a little table by the window while Tracy went to place their order, a vanilla latte for her, a caramel macchiato for him. He carefully carried their drinks back to the table and slid into the chair across from his wife. Selena reached for her cup and took a grateful sip. Hmm, just what I needed, she sighed, closing her eyes briefly in bliss. Tracy watched her, a sudden lump forming in his throat. He still couldn't quite believe that this amazing woman was his, that she loved and supported him so completely. He knew a lot of wives wouldn't be okay with their husbands dressing like women, much less actively encourage it the way Selena did. He felt so incredibly lucky. You're staring, Selena said without opening her eyes, a smile playing at the corners of her mouth. Can you blame me? Tracy asked softly. You're so beautiful. Sometimes I can't believe you're really mine. At that, Selena's eyes fluttered open. She reached across the table and took Tracy's hand in hers, running her thumb over his knuckles. I'm yours, she said simply. For better or worse, in sickness and in health, in pants or in pantyhose, you're stuck with me, mister. Tracy huffed a laugh, blinking back the sudden sting of tears. I think I can live with that, he said. They finished their coffee in comfortable silence, playing footsie under the table like a couple of love-struck teenagers. Tracy kept catching Selena's eye and grinning goofily, giddy with the simple joy of being together. Being Tracy with her, no pretenses, no hiding. As they left the coffee shop and started for home, Tracy couldn't resist slipping his arm around Selena's waist, pulling her close against his side. She fit so perfectly there, her head just brushing his shoulder. His heels put him a good six inches above her, making him feel tall and strong and delightfully feminine all at once. Have I told you lately how much I adore you? He murmured. Selena tilted her face up to him, her expression soft and fond. Once or twice, she replied with a smile, but I never get tired of hearing it. Good, Tracy said, because I plan on telling you every single day for the rest of our lives. I adore you, Selena Marie Kincaid. I adore every single thing about you. The feeling is entirely mutual, Tracy Lynn Kincaid, Selena said, emphasizing the feminine form of his name the one she only ever used on days like this, when he was firmly in touch with his feminine side. It never failed to give him a little thrill, hearing that name from her lips, knowing she saw him, all of him, and loved every facet. They walked the rest of the way home in contented silence, simply enjoying the feel of the sun on their faces and the closeness of their bodies. Every now and then, Tracy would sneak a glance down at Selena, marveling at how lucky he was to have her. Back at the house, they practically tumbled through the front door, giggling and pawing at each other like a couple of kids. I feel... Tracy trailed off, struggling to put the sensation into words. Powerful, he decided finally. Feminine. Desirable. Like I could take on the world in this little scrap of lace. 
Selena made a noise of approval, low in her throat. That's my girl, she purred. Thanks for watching. The rest won't be viewable on YouTube, so check out Patreon if you want more.